All right, so we've ripped the DVD. What now? Well, the next step is to index the DVD footage using a program called DG Index. We can start the program by going to Start Programs AMV App DG MPEG Deck DG Index. Now, go to the File menu and choose Open. Now, browse to the folder where you ripped the DVD to. And here you should see some VOB files. You want to select these VOB files and hit Open. Now hit OK. Now you want to go up to the video menu and go down to Build Operation and you always want to make sure that it's set to Honor Pulldown Flags. Now all you need to do is go to File and choose Save Project and Choose a place and a file name to save the project file to. Now, as it's saving, this information window will come up and it tells you how long it'll take to create the project file. And you just need to wait on it to finish. Alright, now, and once it's finished, it's going to show a little bit more information in this window here. And the main thing we need to look at right now is the video type. You need to see if this says film, and if it says film, is it 95% or higher? If it's 95% or greater film, then you need to go back up here to video, choose field operation, and set this to forced film. And then go back to file, save project, and just save the project over again. Now you only need to do that if it says film and it's 95% or higher. And this is usually going to be the case with movies. If you've got something like a TV series, it's extremely rare for it to be stored as film. If you set it to force film when you shouldn't, then you're really going to screw up the footage. So make sure to only set force film when it says film 95% or greater. Alright, now when it's finally finished saving the file, there is a little bit of information here that we need to take note of. You either need to remember this, or even better, it would be a good idea to write some of this down. First of all, you need to note the aspect ratio. This is either going to be 4 to 3 or 16 to 9. Next, you need to note the frame rate. This should be either 29.97 or 23.976 or 25. Next, you need to note the video type. This will be either NTSC, PAL, video, or film. Now that's pretty much everything that we need here. We can close this up. And next, I'm going to show you how to load your project file into AviSense. 